In this tutorial, we will create a fence using models and objects. So let's go into the editor and let's build the fence along this area here. We can make these no name or O thing. I'm going to make these no name so that they don't get involved in particular kinds of update. If you don't know what that means, means don't worry about it. Just make your uh, wall using no name. However, we do need to give it the right texture and the texture we need to give it is fence 50 for this particular example. Let's save, load, go back to the editor There's our fence. That's pretty easy. However, there's some problems with it. Number one, you'll notice that we're pushing the fence around. We tend to think of fence as something that's stable. So, holding the shift key down, I'm going to select each of these units of fence. I'm going to give them a mass of 9,000. After I've done this edit, I press A to release that special uh, highlight. It will save, load, go back. All right, here's our fence. And it doesn't move around, but we can slip through it, and it's got some kind of weird bumpy quality to it. Well, if you think about it, these are objects, and the objects have a radius, and we're just bouncing into these objects right here. Let's zoom in on those a little bit. So as we run along, we bounce off of each of these circles, or we slip between them. So first thing we want to do is remove this artificial bounce quality. So we are going to take the object collision off. Now you will notice that that does not work with the special highlighting. So I just use the up arrow to move along each of these objects. And take the object collision off. I'm double checking to make sure it's good and we're good to go. So at this point we don't have the funny bouncing but we go through the wall. In order to fix that we use an R box. So we create a new domain give it the effect R box. We want no ceiling texture, no floor texture, and I'm going to make this 64 tall. You'll see why in a moment. That's domain 2. I come back over here and we have to give that domain 2. And we'll leave the mid texture as nothing because we don't want it to show. Let's delete that, even it up. And let's take this down to thirty two. So now we have a 32 wide invisible R box. And this should prevent us from going through, which it does. 
or we can sneak around the back you'll notice an issue here with the finishing touch this one end um, let me put a section of the wall up here out in the middle so we can take a look at it. In order to create endless walls, each segment has a post on one end and open on the other. Which means, in order to finish this out, we want to use a finishing post which in this case happens to be fence 54. You'll notice I made it just 64 units away from the other one. And let's go up here. And I want to bring this wall in so that it's flush. Now this, if everything went well, Nope, it's one unit too far out. Just bring that up. This is why you test. And there it is. Both ends are finished. Can't run through it but we can jump on top of it. So you could include jumping on top of the fence and running along it as part of your gameplay. Or if you don't want anybody to run through the wall or jump on top of it, just make it too tall, like 256. Now it's impossible to jump over. And we have a solid wall made out of models and objects. Of course, over here we have from our previous tutorial a, another wall made from, uh, another fence rather, made from using an R box and walls. This wall is a little bit less pleasing to the eye but it is very cheap in terms of polygons there's like eight polygons here so very low drag on the engine these walls on the other hand have several thousand polygons in the same amount of space that this wall uses up basically eight so depending on your situation if it's distance either one could function. If you happen to like the structure of this particular wall you could make that into a, a BMP. You could take a, a snapshot of it and convert it into a BMP. So it's a question of how are you going to actually be using it in the game. Sometimes using a wall on an R box to create a fence is ideal. Sometimes you want to use a model. 